A second straight night of protests in Kenosha after a police shooting of a black man was caught on camera. That video has sparked national outrage and fallout after it went viral on social media. Now we have edited out the actual shooting. Cell phone video shows 29 year old Jacob Blake walking away from officers trying to get into an SUV when one officer grabbed his shirt. Police then fired several shots. Blake is recovering at Frederick Hospital. We have team coverage from Kenosha tonight where a curfew is now in effect. The shooting investigation is now being handled by the State Department of Justice. CBS 58's Brittany Lewis starts us off with more on that. Tim Mahone got emotional. Yes, I'm hurt. As he talked about the shooting of Jacob Blake and what happened after. The Mahone family sends its prayers to the Blake family and his children. I'm a citizen much like those that you see outside in the streets. Terrence Worthen spoke too. I understand in the most intimate of ways the anger and the fear. Members of the community at a press conference with Mayor John Antaramian and Attorney General Josh Call. We are going to vigorously and fully investigate. Call did not share any new facts about the investigation, including what led up to the shooting, if Blake was armed, or if, in addition to the now viral video of the shooting, anything was caught on dash cam video. And I'm not going to be speaking to the, the details of the ongoing investigation, but again, our, our goal is to provide information where we can to the public, but um, but our first priority has to be protecting the integrity investigation. The officers also didn't have body cameras. The city's mayor says that's in the budget for 2022. Please pray that Mr. Blake heals. From those living here, a call for peace. I'm asking all of you to remain calm. And lasting change. But a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, these cameras will be gone. Most of these protesters will be gone. But those of us in this city whose loved ones, whose livelihoods, and whose hearts are here will still be here. Brittany Lewis, CBS 58 News. Protesters are again in the streets of Kenosha after a very violent Sunday night. Windows of businesses were smashed, stores looted, and several city vehicles set up to stop protesters were burned. More than a dozen cars in a dealership lot near downtown were torched as well. CBS 58's Mark McPherson is live in Kenosha with a look at what's happening tonight. Mark? Yeah, things just continue to escalate here in Kenosha tonight. Let me step out of the way and show you. They did light a vehicle on fire on the far end. As you can see, that's one of the dump trucks that they've used to block this road. Most of the other ones were burned last night. They've lit this one tonight. That shot you just heard was a couple more shots. Those are rubber bullets and bean bags being fired as well as pepper balls. And that's that this guy riding up right here. I had to duck that one, okay. This is what's been going on for most of the night. People will be approaching the police department. The police will fire rubber bullets, uh, sandbags at them, pepper balls, and they'll back away. The group does go to the park for a while and then will move forward, and that's when the gas is then fired out again. But again, they're trying to get that fire under control to your right. You see this armored vehicle right here does have both rubber bullets and pepper balls. And if we pan to the right here, we can see these people with their arms up. What they're firing at before was where the light is right now. As you can see, a bottle just flew through. They've been, they've been firing at that dump truck for most of the night because people have been setting explosives there and throwing stuff from behind that dump truck. So as you can see, the shots are still coming in. People are with, standing there with their hands up, but the people behind the truck are the things that are being thrown. But this is just to give you an idea of what's been going on for most of the night here. There's an announcement that, you, that these people need to back up. Usually police do that three times by protocol, and then they fire gas at them. So things, again, are still very hot here in Kenosha. It's not getting better. In fact, it's just getting more tense. We're going to stay on scene and bring you a live update as soon as we can. Reporting live in Kenosha, Mark McPherson, CBS 58 News.